I have done my graduation in 2017, BSc in Computer Science from Nagpur University. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, working as an automation test engineer currently from last four years uh, in a club services private limited Pune. As an automation tester, uh, I have been a uh, work on manual testing, uh, automation testing and API testing. In manual testing, I was responsible for the test case, prepa uh, test case preparation, test case execution, uh, smoke testing, sanity testing, and uh, I have performed also API testing and database testing. And uh, currently, uh, I'm responsible for the uh, preparation of uh, automation uh, scripting in uh, uh, Selenium web driver. So uh, can you tell me what are different black box testing techniques that we have? uh black box testings yeah uh, black box testings means uh, usually performed by the tester that mm -hmm. is the uh, uh, means a uh, static type uh, testing when the coder done the done this code and uh, send to the uh, tester for the testing so that's time we perform the uh, black box black box testing and uh, in black box testing uh, no need to uh, most of the means coding knowledge or programming knowledge so no, what are the yeah. different techniques we use like we are having graph based technique bba ecp uh, like uh, uh, in black box testing uh, equivalent uh, valence class partitions also used and uh, uh, bba also use boundary analysis value value, value analysis mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we are also uh, using uh, uh regression testing also uh, performed in the black box testings okay uh, which methodology do you use uh, we are using uh, in company our uh, agile methodology uh, using okay uh, can you uh, can you explain a little more yes uh, in agile methodology is a uh, most of the advanced uh, methodology uh, rather than uh, sdlc or means waterfall and models mm -hmm. there are uh, many sub stages like a uh, stockholder project owner uh, and after that uh, product backlog and uh, main, in many types of meeting in there like a uh, sprint planning meeting scrum meeting uh, sprint review meeting retrospective meeting and uh, uh, in spring uh, sprint black backlogs uh, are also there means uh, uh, divided our uh, task into a small uh, broken down in small task task so that is a uh, uh, suitable for the uh, means software development and after mm -hmm. that we uh, creating the task is designing also there in stockholder uh, uh, have the bunch of requirements uh, mm -hmm. that stockholders mean uh, nothing but a client and that client uh, providing to the this, this all information to product owner and product owner gather from the uh, client all information and convert it into uh, SRS documents and uh, product owner also create, created a product backlog backlog mm -hmm. they, they, there is a all model all uh, on and user stories are there and uh, for scrum master uh, in, in, sprint, in spring planning meeting scrum master dividing these tasks like uh, some task is providing to developer and code uh, tester and uh, in spring planning meeting all teams in, included in, uh, are there so these are the uh, small uh, structure in uh, agile methodology, agile okay. architectures. Okay. So what do we call agile ceremonies? Ceremonies uh, means meeting. Yeah, agile ceremonies. What are the different agile. meetings uh, is a part of agile ceremony? Yes. 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 Uh, in uh, agile methodology, uh, first of all, um, uh, sprint planning meeting with the when the start the sprint. So in the spring planning meeting, uh, all the teams including are there. Uh, product, uh, uh, sorry, a Scrum Master is our uh, means head of the spring planning meeting, and uh, Scrum Master uh, divided the task into the all uh, members. And uh, after that, uh, uh, product, uh, sorry, Scrum Master create the spring black backlog. So how many uh, duration of there and how many uh, tasks in one sprint? And, uh, which models uh, we have to create in the spring block, spring spring backlog meeting, and after that uh, uh, we have daily uh, scrum call. Like uh, we are discussing there uh, means uh, what we what we did uh, yesterday, how to going to do today, and uh, 
any backlogs or any uh, uh, help to the solve this uh, bug and uh, after that sprint review meeting uh, in the sprint review meeting we, the, we are the, uh, the discuss uh, good things and bad things are there and, uh, and we will review our, our stories and uh, how to uh, means uh, upgrade our uh, ourselves and how to improve our task and after that, the uh, spring retrospective meeting. In spring ret retrospective meeting, uh, uh, these are the, uh, this spring ret retrospective meeting in the end of sprint. We are, uh, in the end, end of sprint, we are creating. And uh, in spring retrospective meeting, uh, we are discussing about the, uh, how going, uh, how, uh, how gone our, uh, this bit and uh, what we need to improve. Uh, in the sprint retrospective meeting and, and, and next next sprint. So uh, these are the meetings on in a sprint um, sprint planning meeting. Okay. So uh, how can we define a build? Define build. Yeah. What is build? Uh, builds. Uh, uh, builds nothing but uh, it, 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 this is the task and uh, create the particular. Uh, Product uh, with the developer, uh, with the created by developer, mm -hmm. and uh, developer uh, adding our his uh, programming including, and uh, actual uh, with the help of snapshots, uh, snapshot, mm -hmm. developer create the actual functionality, the one functionality I mean, that is means one model. Okay, so uh, Swapnil, we can define mm -hmm. a bit like it's an incomplete software or okay. software in progress instead of software you can also say that it's an incomplete website or website in progress that is nothing but a build so uh, after every completion of each and every module we will receive a build to test that particular functionality or that particular model right okay yeah. so for build you can simply say it's an incomplete software okay. incomplete. Uh, now tell me what is the difference between smoke and sanity testing uh, in uh, smoke testing, nothing but uh, perform a certain uh, that is critical functionality and basic core functionality of the program is working fine. That is, uh, uh, we check the in smoke testing and in sanity testing, we are uh, check the new functionality only. And uh, in smoke testing, uh, performed by the developer or tester, but the sanity testing. Uh, in software testing, uh, usually performed by the test and uh, in smoke testing, usually documented and sanity testing not uh, documented. It is a, a main objective of the testing to uh, verify the new functionality of the system only. And uh, in sand smoke testing, uh, we are checking for the stability, mm -hmm. stability of the software and verify the stability. And uh, in smoke testing, we are performed usually uh, manually or uh, automation automation and uh, in sanity testing we are commonly using only manually so that sanity, is a, for sanity also we can do automation not a problem okay then what is regression testing and why do we uh, perform regression yes yes sir uh, regression uh, testing we are process process of checking uh, there is uh, any adverse effect uh, due to the new uh, applications or uh, new new functionality add or uh, developer uh, fix or uh, coding changes or uh, coding changes in the models so after that we uh, we are perform the regression testing uh, we are perform this uh, regression testing after sit and uat Okay. Because a uh, new functionality add there, and after that we have to perform the uh, test, test, test software any adverse effect on the applications. So, will you perform regression testing when there is an environment change? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is globalization testing? Have you heard of it? Globalization means. Uh, uh yes sir that uh, globalization testing means sir, that is a uh, uh, means uh, uh, that our system accept the 
means all language all, all languages means uh, uh, globalization languages means like uh, japanese chinese english or uh, means many of languages we are still assisting uh, we are to accept the all languages and uh, uh, nationalization language uh, nationalized testing means uh, system accept the only nationalization language means hindi marathi okay uh, what is sanitation testing then sanitation sanitation testing sanitation testing sir uh, sorry sir i am not aware okay no problem so whenever we check if uh, there are any extra features available on the web page that is nothing but your sanitation testing we are looking out for any extra functionality is present or not okay extra functionality present or not okay. mm. okay. uh what is the difference between alpha and beta testing yes uh, uh alpha and beta testing is a part of the uat testing uh that is you see you admit end of end testing mm -hmm. end to end testing uh, it is a process of a collection uh, of the feedback from the customer uh, in an alpha testing there is the two part alpha testing and beta testing in alpha testing uh, used in a service based company in a, in alpha testing including the all the team members like a tester user and scrum master also there and uh, in alpha testing uh perform the in uh, only uh, control environment mm -hmm. and uh, we are performing the uh, black box and uh, white box testing also and beta testing uh we are performed the uncontrolled environment mm -hmm. and uh, use the beta testing used based the uh, only product based companies and uh, beta testing performed by the clients or end user who was who are not authorized uh, not employees of the organizations and uh, in uh, beta testing typically uses uh, black box testing so this this is the uh, difference between the alpha testing and beta testing okay one more point you can mention is in uh, alpha testing the client is actively involved right we have to perform testing in front of client while in beta okay. testing uh, the real time users are uh, preferred uh, and client is not that much involved okay that one also you can mention okay sir uh do you have any idea about root cause analysis root cause analysis uh, in root cause uh, root cause analysis we check the uh, means of any due to the which uh, sorry sir i have called <laughs> i am not able to country no, no so whenever we find any defect or bug in production environment okay in that case we have mm -hmm. to perform a root cause analysis in root cause analysis uh, we check for like why this defect has been found where this defect mm -hmm. has been found and when this defect has been found right so we okay. need to find out a root cause for that uh, defect that is nothing but your root cause analysis okay okay uh, can you tell me what is uh, priority and severity yes sir priority uh, means nothing but uh, uh, which defect should be fixed first this is the uh, priority means customer point of point of points of view view mm -hmm. uh, that is a uh, impact on the any uh, by the uh, their customers means applications like for, for example in amazon amazon uh, amazon site and uh, amazon logo is not uh, look like properly or spelling mistakes so that is the in, impact by the business so this is the uh, means uh, any type any types of the, uh, there there is any types of defects uh, we are found so that is priority defect mm -hmm. and severity means uh, uh, really always related to functionality like a functionality is not working properly like uh, uh, for example we are passing the uh, user id and password and click the button for the login but uh, not login properly or login if login so is a uh, system gives many of times for the login so mm -hmm. that is a uh, severity is related okay so uh, let me give you one defect that uh, whenever you are login into any web page okay we are having a log login page whenever sir, you sorry. are trying can you repeat sir yeah so we are having a login page mm -hmm. that whenever you are trying to log in you have to click that login button 3 to 4 times 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what will be the priority? What will be the severity? Uh, when the uh, we are clicking the in login button, so that's login not properly. So that's why priority is also high and severity is also high because uh, this is the impact on the business of the customers and uh, severity means always related to uh, functionality so functionality is also is not working properly so that is high priority and high severity bugs oh. uh, so what are the different steps involved in stlc software testing life cycle software testing life cycle okay so software testing uh, uh, means S- stlc is an integral part of sdlc Mm-hmm. Uh, it's many of types of here like uh, uh, first of all uh, test initiation testing mm-hmm. we are uh, initiating the all testing uh, techniques and after that uh, we are creating the test plans and after that uh, we create the test scenario what we have to functionality test like for for example and uh, after that we uh, design the test cases means uh, how to Test that functionality, detail this means details this descriptions, and after that executions of test cases, mm-hmm. and uh, after uh, after that we create the summary report, mm-hmm. like we uh, we uh, how many uh, test cases are pass or fail, <coughs> and uh, after that uh, test closure report also there. So, mm-hmm. uh, but in test closure report I am not uh, creating. Uh, this is the uh create by a test lead this is the okay. test lead, test lead responsible for there okay. so this is the types of sdlc what is a traceability matrix uh yes a traceability matrix nothing but a, a mapping between a business requirement and our uh test script mm-hmm. so it is why do why do we prepare traceability matrix uh yes sir. because uh, we are performing the traceability matrix because uh, we are our that is creating test uh, cases or sprint our uh, by the tester or scrum master. That is uh, uh, should not uh, should not be uh, missed uh, in functionality for the business requirement. And okay. uh, so whenever we want to ensure that we have performed hundred percent testing, we need to prepare traceability matrix. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you prepared traceability matrix? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what about user story? Have you prepared user story? Yes, sir. What is user story? Yeah, user story is u- user stories mean the uh, means of which functionality we have to check. Mm. like a login page a home page so that is a user story and in the user story is many of uh, test cases or test scenarios are there also okay mm. so uh, what do we, uh, what do we mention in uh, user story what are the important attributes in user story important attributes uh, uh, sorry sir there is a description and acceptance criteria, right? Yes, sir. So those are nothing but important attributes of user story. Okay. Uh, let us say you are working on uh, Amazon log- uh, login page. Yes, sir. So can you tell me any five test cases? Y- yes, sir. Uh, can you give me the uh, scenario means login? Login page is the scenario. Login page is yeah. Login okay. page is having a username, password, forward password link, and login button. Mm-hmm. Okay. So first of all, uh, we uh, pass the correct password. Mm-hmm. It should is verify the uh, verify the. Uh, uh, sorry. Verify login functionality. V- verify the login functionality, mm-hmm. and uh, there is a. Uh, uh, pass the correct uh, password also there okay uh, if the pass the correct correct password and uh, correct uh, uh, correct password and correct correct id 
so button should be is uh, verify the click um, that that button is clickable or not mm -hmm. uh, after that negative te negative test cases verify the uh, uh, correct password and correct uh, id so mm -hmm. that is uh, it should be uh, give the uh, means error so that is also check and uh, also that is button also clickable or not mm -hmm. so verify the uh, login uh, login button and after that uh, uh, when we click the uh, forget uh, for, forget passwords so mm -hmm. it should be open the new uh, page on and uh, that is a uh, uh, there there is a uh, uh, it should be have the uh, in the id id mm -hmm. id and forget password and there and uh, okay. okay so these are the so have you performed api testing yes sir okay. what are the different status code you found yeah yes sir um the, the, there is 200 201 mm -hmm. and uh, four, 200 means okay mm -hmm. where uh, where we pass the correct uh, functionality and uh, no any found defect so that is a system generated the 200 code when we create the data successfully mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after, after that uh, 400 mm -hmm. 400 uh, code also there when we uh, means of uh, any uh, we are all wrong or uh, end uh, end point missing mm -hmm. so that's uh, there is a uh, system generated 400 code and 400 okay. uh, 401 is unauthorized okay. for that what, what, and, is uh, the, what is the difference between 200 and 201 two, uh, 200 means uh, 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 200 is nothing but a okay button okay mm -hmm. means when when the successfully data we entering the data successfully so that's time uh, it gets generated 200 code. Mm -hmm. and 201 means uh, uh, when we create the data Mm -hmm. so that's why uh, uh, there is a 201 that is called okay what is meant by collection in api collection uh, java collection is a set of predefined interfaces uh, no, and no. class it's java collection no what is collection in API? API, API. Mm -hmm. Collection. Uh, sorry, sir. Currently not recall. Okay. So, collection are basically where we can group the different requests. Get request, put request. Multiple requests we can save in one collection. Collection acts like a folder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we can save multiple requests in that particular collection and we can run that collection so all the request in that collection will get executed okay so in okay, automation sir. the way we execute suits right sanity suit smoke suit and whatever test cases are part of those suits will get executed similar way in collection we are having multiple requests so whenever we run collection all those requests will get executed okay sir okay which authorization do you use uh, authorization means uh, be, be bearer token. Okay. Bearer and how, token how do you also. get your bearer token? How do you generate it? Uh, bearer token is a one of the authentication of pass in header, and uh, bearer means identification for the token generated. Uh, that is provided by uh, the developer. Developer, sir. Okay, so you do not generate uh, your bearer token. You get it from yes, developer. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, where do you get your API details? Uh, sorry, sir. Repeat. Where do you get API details? Like API, API endpoint. Uh, there there API. is we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, so there is for, for we are uh, we have the. Uh, one method gate gate method is also there for the phase the data 
no so where do you get all the details of your api like endpoint payload which status code you need to verify all the details there is one document right yes sir what is that document called sorry call sir call it as a swagger document have you heard of it swagger documents okay okay we are having swagger document which will have all the information related to apis okay sir so now i'll ask some question from database what is the difference between delete drop and truncate uh yes sir deletes means a uh, delete from the uh, our uh, delete to uh, for the particular test that data and uh, truncate uh truncates means a uh, delete from the data in table delete mm -hmm. truncate and uh, one more uh, what is it drop 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 drops means uh, you, uh, it is used to uh, the uh, drop in whole table with the help of uh, with the help of drop drop table we can delete the drop and uh, uh, sorry I, means uh, we are using the drop table for the structure mm -hmm. all structure uh, we we are delete with the help of drop okay so uh, using delete we can delete a particular row or record or set of records okay Yes. whenever we are using truncate we will delete all the data but not table table will remain uh, same structure will be there mm -hmm. but all the data will be deleted and when we use drop table structure and data both will get deleted yes sir okay uh, how can we find out how many records are there in the table uh show tables for the yeah but yes. you never know if there are thousand rows mm -hmm. in one table we cannot see it right and we cannot keep scrolling down yes so we have uh, one more uh, query is called for there uh, mm -hmm. show database we are using show show database show database will show you how many columns are there what is the data type what is the length of those columns it will not show how many records are there to find how many records we have one function count one aggregate function we are having count do you remember it aggregate <laughs> sorry sir do you know how we can rename a column uh for the rename 